What's up, everybody? Welcome back. My name's David, and welcome back to Awesome Tubies. So today I got this at Costco, and it's a Netgear Nighthawk Mesh Wi-Fi 6 system, and this is the latest Wi-Fi technology, faster speed, increased capacity. So this thing covers up 4,500 square feet, and it's 1.5 faster than the a Wi-Fi AC. And this model is AX1800. So I got this at Costco and this thing retail for $220. And it's pretty cheap, but I got it on sale for $180 because I have a $40 discount. So I got it on sale. So let's look on the side of the box. So this is an advanced whole home Wi-Fi system. So it looks pretty cool. Um, it comes in a three pack and I had a Nighthawk before and it's pretty good. So I'm familiar with Netgear. So yeah, so I got this for 180 and in order to make it works really well, you have to spread them out around the house, especially around your dead spot in the house, like in the corner or in the back of the house or something or in the garage. So you have to space it out and it connects to each other Wi-Fi. So this is a dual band system. Um, let's open up and see what's inside. So if you're new to my channel and haven't hit the subscribe button, please consider hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you like this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get future notification of my new video on this channel. And yeah, the box is pretty easy to open, so I didn't have, I need my unboxing knife. So let's take it out. So as you guys know, Wi-Fi 6 is the latest um, Wi-Fi technology um, right now. So if you want the fastest speed, you should go with the Wi-Fi 6. So let's open up. And in the box, first thing you notice is a quick start. So first you download on the app on your phone, install and explore. So this is in the back, all the contents. So it comes with a router with two satellites, ethernet cable, and a power adapter. And in the back, the main router has two ethernet ports, and the other one has one only. So right there you can see, okay, let's take that out away and take this thing out. And in the box. So this is the router. And you can see here it comes with a QR code. So I guess you download the app, then you scan the QR code. Uh, similar to other brands in the industry, that I'll do the same scanning a QR code now. So let's cut this out. Um, pretty uh, weird design. Look at the design, it's kind of weird. It's kind of matte black. Um, so it comes with an Ethernet port and an Internet port right there. And this is the AC adapter port. So let's take this out. So right there you can see it says Nighthawk in the front. Like shiny piano black. Um, very light. Uh, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Let's take out the two satellite. So satellite is pretty much the same as the main one. Um, has a little LED indicator right there. Uh, same shiny piano black. In the back, has a sync button. Hold for the AC adapter and one Ethernet Ethernet port. And compare, they're about the same size. You can see right there, and you can't really tell which one is the router, which one is the the satellite from the side view. And I gotta block the the bottom. So there you go. You can see they look exactly the same. It's kind of cool. They have like vents, so it'll cool down when it gets hot. And the back, so that's the difference. So. Exactly the same as the other one. Nothing different, same size. I like the cool design on top. 
and that's the front. So let's put that on the side. Open up, and here's the AC adapter. So, all in the box. So, Ethernet. If you don't have one, you will probably need one. So, for the main router, you have to plug the internet port with the Ethernet port, and the other one go to your ISP modem, and the other hole just go with the AC adapter right here so the AC adapters are here and it comes with three one for each and let's put this aside BAM okay so I got everything out inside the box out for you guys so you guys check it out so you get three pack this is a three pack and all comes with AC adapter so one for each so right here you can plug for the AC adapter right here this one gonna plug into your internet port and this other end go to your cable modem and yeah that's how you set it up for the main router and for the satellite just plug in the AC adapter right there and yeah pretty much that's it you plug it in and they'll connect wirelessly, wirelessly together and it should work fine so I'm gonna set it up and download the app right, so I download the app and right here you can see my system is plugged in the Ethernet port is plugged in, the AC adapter is poured in, and it's lit up blue. So what you want to do, you open your app. So here's the Nighthawk app. Just download that and it's free. So you want to set up your new system, you're just going to click um, getting start. Or get started. And select what kind of stuff you have. So right here, you want to... Um, Click on Mesh System, and as you can see right here, you have to scan the QR code. So you have to enable and scan. You have to press OK, and scan the QR code on the bottom of your system. And once you finish scanning, just go Continue, and locate your modem and supplied by your ISP, which is Internet Service Provider. Disconnect any device that are connected into it. So I just go continue. Unplug your modem and the power supply. So you want to unplug and plug back in. Then next, then click continue. And now connect to your Nighthawk. So right here, that's the next screen, and go next. And right now, it's gonna find the satellite. Unfortunately, my satellite's not even plugged in, so I need to plug it in for the bus. Right now, click continue. Then go join. Now it's trying to connect it right now, so you can, I can see the screen. And you just have to wait for a few more minutes. All right, it's router detected. So right now it's connected, internet connected. So everything is good. And even a confirmation email from Netgear. So now it's trying to detect the satellite, which I just plugged in. Should connect it pretty soon. So now it's a detecting 2.2. That means I got everything. I got the router set up and it's detecting the satellite. Now just hit continue. And you need to personalize your setting, then you go next. And right now it gives me the name and the password. So you're gonna need to um, set your password and 
your name of your system. So I'm gonna set up a new name for it. And after you set up your system name and password, now you have to set up your admin login. And they're gonna ask security um, question just to ensure that you are securely inside the system. So in case you lose your password or anything, you just have to answer these questions. So after you answer all those questions, it's gonna personalizing your Netgear mesh system. So, so far so good. So now it's gonna ask you to join. So you're gonna need to join it. So right now it's checking firmware just to make sure everything's up to date. So it's gonna take a little bit. So now I found the update that you need to update on the newer firmware. So what you wanna do is just update. Right now I just finished updating successfully. So I just have to click on next. And it's gonna have a few minutes just to make sure everything's connected. So it's now it's connecting to the router. And now it's asking me to join the Wi-Fi. So you just have to click join. Now it's trying to connect to the router. Now it's up and running. Your router is now config. So just have to click next. Now install Netgear Armor. See right now it's connect to it's online right now. It has one satellite. It's supposed to connect two satellites. So I'm guessing it's still looking for the satellite. Once it's fully connected, you can probably see all the satellite. So let's do some speed tests. So I just downloaded stuff. So let's do a speed test on this. Test my speed. See how fast I'm going. So this is in the app. So later on, I'm going to do another speed test. So right now, the download speed is about 472. The ping is about 10. And the upload speed about 23. So let's try one more time before I switch to another app. See how fast the speed test is. So pretty much the same. 459. Pings around nine, and the upload speed is twenty three. So I'm gonna exit this thing and I'm going to my other app and see the speed test on that. So I'm gonna go to the speed test app by itself, and right now I'm on Spectrum. So right now you can see about four seventy, four sixty. And let's see the upload speed. So the ping on this one is 16. Downloads 476. And it seems like the upload speed is about 23. Pretty much the same, 23.1. Let's do it one more time just to make sure. So my speed is pretty fast right now. So downloads 478, upload 23.1, and the ping is about 17. So there you have it. You see the my upload speed and download speed and ping. This thing's pretty good so far. So far so good. And so yes, the setup for this thing is pretty easy. Since you have the app and everything you have to do is in the app instead of going to your computer and type in the IP address and all the stuff like the old system. This thing just automatically connect to each other. The only downside for this system is a dual band instead of a tri band. So I wish this was a tri-band system, gonna be a lot better. But um, only time could tell right now. For 180, it's not as bad. Uh, I got the other system from Netgear and the Orbi system, and it's about four to five hundred dollars. So this thing is half the price, and it works about the same. So um, if you guys have any question, just leave down the comment. Um, 
only time could tell is how this, 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 this system could stand and how could it hold up. But my house is pretty big. Uh, my house is about 3,200 square feet and this thing support up to 4,500 square feet. So yeah, the pro about the system is um, very easy to set up, very cheap. Um, anyone could set this up. You don't have to be like a computer geek to set it up or like a tech expert. Um, any normal joke could set this up and it's pretty cheap. I got it at Costco for 180. Um, Sometime it goes on sale, maybe for more, maybe for less. But um, yeah, the retail price of this at Costco is about 220. Um, if you check out the other system, or you haven't used the other system, I used the Orbi Netgear and I didn't like it. Um, it has some um, bugs on it, but so far this thing uh, hold up well. Uh, it automatically connect to each other. Um, the downside of this system is this dual band system. Um, I wish it was tri band. Um, I see other system more expensive from Google and it's about the same, but the Google one doesn't come with the ethernet port in the back on the satellite. So even though they come with more satellite, but it doesn't come with the ethernet port, which I need for some of my like TVs or um, security camera, I need the internet port. So that's why I need to get this system instead of the Google system. So that's why, and this is a Wi-Fi 6, and Google didn't have the Wi-Fi 6 system yet. So that's why I'm just sticking with this system. I'm going to try it out and see how it holds up. I'll keep you guys updated if anything changes. So if you like this video, please smash the like button. If you haven't hit, hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get future notification of my new video on this channel. And don't forget to hit the share button also. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a productive and wonderful day. So I'll see you guys in the next unboxing and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.